Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, it's that time of the month where we try to see if Grixis is playable. Um, Grixis is one of the color pairings I enjoy playing, um, kind of blue-black control uh, with a splash of red. Uh, it's got quite a few cards that I really enjoy playing, so seeing if we can kind of take this. So it's pretty much a base Demir deck, uh, blue-black with some hints of red. Um, really adding red gives you bolus some better removal as well um, so what we're trying to do here is somewhat of a self mill to hit Karaxa so you have stuff like Ashiok to mill yourself, Atris uh, you can also copy uh, Karaxa with some Lazavs uh, Lazav has some synergy there as well you can just copying Atris as a way to uh, get pseudo evasion uh, Lazav also fills our graveyard to help potentially find Karaxas um, otherwise, we're just a lot of disruption. Um, flexible removal, so Scorching Dragonfire hitting Planeswalkers and Creatures, as well as Exile. Thought Erasure is Hand Hate. Murderous Rider, Bedevil hitting art uh, Creatures or Planeswalkers. Bedevil also hitting Artifacts, so it can hit Oven. Uh, the Ashiok exiles the opponent's graveyard, so it can hit any of the escape threats. Uh, Cry, an Extinction Event, deal with Creatures and exiles them as well. Narset stops the Teamer Wreck from drawing cards. Uh, and then uh, Atris refills our hand, a couple Sharknados, uh, an Ashiok, and then three Bolas on the top end. Mana base is pretty simple. Uh, one of each of the shock, or a play set of the shocks, four Fabled Passage to fuel Croxas, and then some basics and some castles. The sideboard, some Narset's Reversal. So you can actually play this as a way to. Um, bounce their explosions so coming in against the teamer wreck deck uh, some negates verse control agonizing remorse when we need to have more of a hand hate tyrant scorn versus aggro dispute versus uh, teamer wreck so if you haven't tuned into the pt that's happening right now or over the weekend uh, teamer wrecks like double the percentage or double the amount of decks that were qualified so having disputes are good farika's libation as a way to hit enchantments Enter the God Eternals as another way to deal with um, creatures, gain you some life, and Commence is a way for the Counterspell heavy decks to be able to draw some cards and create a threat. Um, so the main board's pretty much geared towards creatures with having sweepers. The sideboard, we interact a lot more with Counterspells. Um, we'll see. It might be make more sense to go the alternative route, um, but being able to still hit stuff out of the opponent's deck with the Exile like Uro is still relevant. So I am currently 1344 on the ladder, so we'll play some games, see how it goes. Oh, not historic rank. So I got up with the Teamer Ramp deck. Um, like right now, the meta decks aren't really ones I enjoy playing. I don't enjoy Teamer Rec, I don't enjoy Bant Ramp. I don't mind Jund Oven, but it's quite the intricate deck to play. Um, so a lot of times I find like you're naturally going to kind of mess up some sequence. There's a lot of lines of play, so I will say it is a big brain deck. Um, so with M21 around the corner, I will be taking part in the early streamer event. Um, so this hand, don't know what they're on yet. Narset has play as well, so I think we keep this in the dark. Um, so I'll be taking part in the early streamer event. And I will be posting some deck lists on Aetherhub. I got about four up already. Uh, like Teamer Ugin, Mono Red Cavalcade, a Black White Life Gain, and a Jund. So blue. Let's just go Watery Grave for now. Ooh, Demir. So I'm doing this to find another blue source. If this is Demir, these cards are kind of dead. Tell me we're going against, like, Grixis Mirror. Is this going to be another case of Doom Foretold, where we've never played against Doom Foretold? As soon as we fire it up, we run into it. Uzma. What are you on? One of those, make sure we're not the ones that got disconnected. Okay, so it's Demir Flash. So 
So we're probably... It's probably a mixed bag game one um, in terms of whether or not we have action against them. I'm going to lead with Narset here to bait out a counter potentially. I'm not going to show them the red yet. Cry can hit some stuff. Narset resolves. Woof. Wanted to hit something there. Okay, so they have Brineborn here. Opting to go face. Interesting line there. Take the Bedevil. I think we cry this turn because this is limited with Brineborn being effective. Okay, so they have the Sabotage. Next turn we Extinction Event. We opt to bin the Slither Wisp. So hopefully they just don't have like another sabotage. Uh, so this is even, exiles their board. Drop down a borrower. So interested to see here. Okay, they just keep going face. I think we just need to do this. Take four here. Not gonna do it. We're short. Okay. That's fine. Like the fact, like game one, we're probably a hedge case. So bring in Enter the God Eternals, Tyrant Scorns, Disputes. Um, coming out, Shark Typhoon's actually fine. Cut the Ashiok, cut a Bolus. Probably, Hatris is probably fine. Ashiok doesn't do much here. Yeah, like match one, I can't really combat that much against the counter spells, and they're playing at tempo speed. Um, usually like those decks are good against kind of tap out control. Uh, two cards to cut. Lazav being a 1-3 is reasonable, but do I want to tap out for Lazav? It also gets clipped by... It's like, how do we win this game? It's probably just going to be Croxoing. Actually, Narset doesn't do that much in this matchup. It also just gets clipped. So I figure just like all the removal, try to drop like Shark Typhoon, kill him that way. Also this matchup just doing, um, like cause they have bounce. Probably reasonable. Cause I can hit something in their hand and then I have Dispute for another play. And then I also have the Surveil. Probably should have led on the Blood Crypt. Okay, no one drops good. Hopefully hit their two drop here. So they got Negate, Brineborn, Brineborn, Brazen Borrower, Sabotage. I think we go Negate, 
negate, take them off their threats. And then next turn what I do is play Lazav, hold up the Mystical Dispute. Oh no, no, I screwed that up. Ah, I can't hold up the speed this way. Because I wanted to copy it with Lazav and attack in. I get rid of Brazen Borer, which is actually fine. I'll dispute here. Takes them off uh, a turn here. I tapped that wrong. I wanted to have Lazav. Um, so let's go... I think I still shock myself here to make it seem like I have a counter spell. They also can't counter this turn. They have like Disperse, I also play around it. So how Lazav works is you can pay two mana to have a copy Croxa. And then you can start attacking their hand. Impressed the opponent got to Mythic with uh, Demir Flash. I think I want removal. Dismal Backwater is an interesting inclusion. Perfect. So I can do this. Kill this now and then play the Lazavo. And then Lazav, oh yeah, the speed's great. Lazav also lets me still cast Kroxa. Because this becomes a copy of it, it's not the actual creature. me attack their hand and I can also dispute this uh, brazen borrower after okay I get rid of quench what you can also do too is like not necessarily in this deck, but if they say you have something copied and they try to Conquer's Death it, you can um, like tweak that around. I think we hold this. We can race this Brazen Borrower, and I want to resolve the Croxa. Cry is also interesting. Let's me hit them. Because we can hit them for upwards of 9 a turn and then attack at their hand. Get rid of Sabotage. Yeah, let's just do this. Gets rid of the Brazen Borrower. And then we have Dispute up. And now they're in top deck mode. 
they have to play out whatever they have for as a blocker, and then I just escape Croxa. Yeah, they're dead. Sweet! Much better than game one. When we have the counters in. Um, I don't think we want negates per se. I think having the removal is good. I might want the libation as just another way at instant speed to hit them. Probably instead of Narset. I don't see us wanting to... I want to be able to hold up counters and then uh, hit them on the flip side. So they will have the advantage. This deck does have a fairly high disparity of uh, play draw when you're able to get a threat down untap and then protect it it's a lot better so what we'll likely do is use our when they go shields down this hand is great So here I'm going to shock because it lets me um, play around a bit. So we're not going to Croxa here. So I think we dispute here. And then hold this. This is better because if they sneak something down, at least we can kill it. Not hitting a land there sucks. Might have to cycle this. Come on, opponent. Blue source would have been the best because I could have crocsied and then held up dispute. So blue mana likely shows that they have a dispute of their own up, so we'll take a chance to use removal here. That gives me so I can go Croxa here. Attack a card in their hand, hold up the spute for what they cast. Slither Wisp I think is black black. So doing this because uh, I want to be able to counter this. This reduces the cost of their other spells. Okay, so they just go Omen. That's fine. Because what you'd be able to do is like Brazen Borrow for one mana and then play out like Omen. We are tapped out, so they could opt to try to resolve a threat here. They don't. I think we I think we shock for shark typhoon. Hmm. No, I think this turn we just go tap lands, they go. They're just going to Omen, it's fine. I might still Typhoon for one. If they don't play anything. He gets a card into my graveyard, closer for Croxa. And then, depending if they go Shields down, I can try to force through a Bolus. Oh, 
also it's somewhat of a clock. I probably should have shocked there. So, start with attacking. So I could jam Croxa this turn, but it feels bad getting counterspelled. So I think we just wait here. Ideally, I want to try to bait something out with the Murderous Rider, get them to fight over something, and then uh, drop Bolas or Croxa. We can draw like a dispute or a negate, also pretty good. So let's go get another red source. really what we want. We got a fair amount of removal. I'm just going to drop this down. It speeds up the clock on the opponent. So I'm actually going to do this on the opponent's turn because I want them to tap down mana. Okay, so we get a sabotage out of them. Perfect. No, why are you tapping like that? See if they trade here. So we do have a decision to make here. So Slither Wisp. Nah, I think we just Croxa here with the coast down. It basically forces them dead next turn. I could have cried. Ideally, Bolas would have been the best play to be able to down tick, because now they can't really use their castle that effectively. Even if they brazen borrow this, oh, they drew the heartless act. I can bolus down tick here. So we're punished if they draw exactly mystical dispute off the castle. Okay, hit it. Should be wrapped up now. I think it was right playing the murderous rider out just naked there. It speeds up the clock.
Desperation Spectral Sailor. Very interesting, they brought in Heartless Act against us when we only really showed two creatures in that game. Okay. Eat away at their hand now. Atris, and then I can shock in for Croxa as well. Um, let's take this off. Lazav just becomes Croxa. Uh, punished. We had it in hand. That's fine. I don't think the opponent's surviving this board state. They're fighting. So eat away at their hand first. So I can actually cast Croxa, bounce Croxa, and then recast Croxa, and then deal the last point of damage. Why are you dragging this out, opponent? Why? Just making sure I could get it before they go to blockers. And opponent wraps it up. Grixis. Sweet. So I actually think I want to try... Because I feel like Mythic Best of 3 is going to be a lot of like teamer wreck. I want to test this deck because I actually enjoy playing it. Um, I'm going to do some unranked best of one because we're more likely to run into like mono red. I want to see how our aggro matchup is. Because right now, like I figure we're going to be running into Teamarek. We're going to be running into like Bant Ramp. I want to see how like mono red, gruel, like uh, Rakdos is. And you're usually going to find more of that in best of one. Because that's really where, like, I don't want to queue into, like, a 45 minute. So, in the dark, we don't know what the opponent's playing. I can't cast this, but I do have a Croxa on two and a Cry on three with the Devil. I think we try this out. Opponent is on Rakdos sleeves, so hopefully this encourages them to be playing a Rakdos deck. Cry is very good against uh, any of the Cat Oven decks. All right, so we got our wish. We're playing against at least Rakdos, maybe Jundoven. Sorry. It's very great. Okay. I played the wrong land, so I guess we're attacking their hand. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Mayhem Devil here. They'll play the Luris out, and then I'll cry a Carnarium, and they will concede, is my guess. If they don't, then I just be Devil. That's probably the game. I have Lazav. Hey, Quantum. Uh, we just took down uh, the Mirror Flash on the Mythic rank in best of three. We lost game one, but when we put in like um, our sideboard tools, it became a lot more effective. So I'm opting to do this. We attack the last card in their hand, and now Lazav copies. So I just want to test this in uh, best of one right now. Um, I want to face some aggro decks. I've been liking what this has been doing so far. 
It's got a lot of disruption. So we tailored the main board for the most part to deal with aggro. Uh, Ashiok self mills to hit Kroxas for us. It also exiles the opponent's graveyard. A lot of our removal is exile based between Scorching Dragonfire, Cry, and Extinction Event. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a top end. Atris also fills our graveyard. Um, I've really liked this interaction. I may go up another Lazav, but want to play a little bit more. I figure between Lazav and Kroxa, you have six copies of Kroxa. Yeah, we lost game one, but they went like they were heavy creature focused. Once we had the disputes in, we it felt a lot better. Sansa keep. So I'm actually gonna juke the opponent. Okay, so we got another cat oven deck. Scorching Dragon Fire will be good. Yeah, it feels really good to uh, Lazav Kroxa. Okay, so we wish we had Cry here. So for this turn, I'm probably going to exile the Priest. We had Cryocranarium this game. Like the last, we would have just wrecked the opponent. I think we maybe want a third Cry in the sideboard. It's proven to be very good. Um, do I care this turn? So if they're holding up the Fabled Passage, it could just be till end of turn. But it could also mean that they have... Um, What's his face? Mayhem Devil. This might be a game where Shark Typhoon gets cast. Uh, Quantum in chat in general, uh, is the video showing up as 1080p right now for you? Played around with the settings, so it should work now. I think we do this. There is merit to getting rid of the cat. If they have an oven, we're punished. Okay, they have Luris. So I'm actually gonna do this right now because this can hit an oven oh uh, you're on cell service yeah um, yeah you can usually check i think by cell it might default it to like auto so it might do 480 or 720. here i think we just do this it stops the attacks coming in and i can gain some life back Ashiok going after the graveyard will be good. Oof. Guess we turn on their claim by doing that. They have a sack effect. Ah. Um. Here. What do they have in the graveyard? Like what punishes us? I think we just Shark Typhoon if they attack in with the cat. I wanna hit a land so I can... Well, that's most certainly something that needs to die. Um... Do this. Okay, so we hit our land. So that means that I can go shock, bolus, down, take, attack for two. Uh, 
I'm missing black. So I took two points of unnecessary damage. Let's hope that doesn't haunt us. So attacking with this, keeping this back in case they have another claim. See if we can juck them. Okay, so they have Croxa. Don't think we need two boluses. Hopefully this is not our last land. Sick. Okay, so proving to do pretty well against this deck. Against Agro. Let's run one more just to see. So for those tuning in, we played Mythic uh, with it. We took down Demir Flash. Um, I want to test against some aggro decks, and the latter right now has been Heavy Teamer Wreck, Bant Ramp. Um, so I'm playing Best of One to see how that works. So this is an interesting hand. I don't think it's good enough on the dark. Okay, this hand's better. I th think we... Yeah, main board we beat Cat, post board we have options to kind of disrupt Teamer Wreck. I think this is very good in the dark against a lot of graveyard decks. Um, so the interesting decision here is what do we bottom? I think it's Narset. So this is tough, because I can't fetch... I think we go Steam Vents here. Because I need to fetch blue. I guess I could fetch black. Hunted Witness. Um, it's Croxa here. I think we're just gonna turbo and Ashiok. I think we're gonna go Ashiok. And then um, I'll fetch. Actually, I got a shock. So, White Weenie. Oh, they're all in. Actually, think here this turn. So, I f can't fetch this turn. I can take two, play Ashiok. I think this turn I'm actually going to see because if they have a Loxodon, I'm actually going to take the Giant Killer. That's perfect card. You know what's great against the board of 1 1s? Extinction Event. Also gets around to some Breakable Formation. Fairly aggressive on the opponent's side. Let's get a second blue here. Odd. And that should be a concession from the opponent, most likely. No. Oh, that is a great follow up. Bolus is black, black, black. Yeah. Let's not make that mistake again. Another Crocs in the yard. Hey, sh Scroot. Um, going pretty well, actually. We've won all our matches. We played Mythic Best of Three against Demir Flash. But uh, we wa we lost the game the first game, but won both the post board games. Um, and then we bet. Actually, let me do this first. Um, and then I've just been testing in Best of One unranked to see how um, our aggro matchup is. And we've bet uh, Cat Oven twice, and we're on our way to be beating Mono White Stompy, or Mono White Weenies. 
So I can take a turn here. I don't care at this point if they kill Ashiok. Clipping that's good. Hey, knee, uh, knee deep. Uh, the deck list, there's a little widget here. You can link to Aether Hub. If you're on mobile, let me know. I can link you the deck list. I think I'm just making a chain. What did I cut? I have Sharknadoes in here. I forgot what I cut. Uh, Scorching Dragon. Oh, there we go. One sec. I'll send the updated deck list. No Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity gets hit by too many things, just like Stomp, pretty much all the removal as well. Um, the creatures we're opting for are Lazav, which is basically just a copy of Croxa on the deck, Atris, which fuels the graveyard, and that's pretty much it, uh, and Murderous Rider, which is removal as well. Sideboard-wise, um, it's just kind of just interaction. It's more for the control matchup. We're boarded main board for Agra. Um, I did post... Uh, I brewed up a black-white life gain deck for uh, M21. Seems pretty sweet. Um, here, I can show you quick. And then we'll run one more. Uh, that view's not good. I'm gonna be doing some uh, deck techs with some of the new cards. So uh, for the new set with black white life gain, so it's kind of like all seed. Um, so the new cards like Vito, actually, let's do this way. Shows nicer. Go away. So uh, like all seed, arc fiend vessel. So what's really cool with Luris, when you get this back from the graveyard, it can be sacked. Uh, for a 5-5 five five. so there's like a bunch of one drop life linkers gets you ahead speaker of heavens uh, lets you create angels and then some charming prints to blink things to get extra EDBs up like Daxos uh, Othakaya's removal indulgent partitioner patrician um, and then Vito thorn of dusk rose so I got a couple decks up on Aether Hub right now for the new set. Anything with the tag M21. So I'm working through them, similar to like last one where I had like 25 brews, um, just kind of going through. So as more cards get spoiled, I'm kind of revising them. Scavenging News got spoiled right after I built the Jun deck. That should be in there. Uh, let's play one more best of one to see how the aggro matchup is, and then we'll wrap this one up. I do like this deck. Seems pretty sweet. I have the uh, the SDCC full art Nico Bolas Dragon God. Uh, it's in my four color fires pioneer deck. So if I can find a deck in standard that works with it, I'll be happy. I do miss Thief of Sanity. It was funny how in like uh, guilds came out, that card was like the scariest thing. Opponent is on Yorian. Yorian is likely Bant Ramp, or I think we keep this. We have a lot of good tools in this matchup. Obviously, missing a black source. Teamer. I really like the new Liliana. Um, reminds me of. Just do this. Reminds me of like uh, an 80% Liliana the Veil, which is my favorite Planeswalker. Okay, so they're on Elemental Ramp, similar to the deck that I got to Mythic with. Uh, you think Goldfish's budget, white, black, discard? Uh, yeah, that could probably 
play into the play into it. Um, so this deck here, they draw cards a lot, so Narset's actually pretty reasonable to drop down here. Cry is also nice whenever we get some black mana. Um, I don't know the full list offhand, um, but if you're doing stuff like Yark's Fen Lurker, um, Burglar Rat, and then like Doom Foretold, Davriel can be play there. What I'd maybe look for. We hit black mana off this turn, it'd be great. Underworld Rage Hound. Attacks each combat. Exile three cards from your graveyard. Escapes with a 1 1 counter on it. Sure. I hate doing this, but I really want to hit a lion. Okay, cool. So we're going to Extinction Event next turn. I'm not going to activate. I'd have to discard anyways here. And um, this stops Hydrate Crisis. Okay. What's Ultimatum hitting? Well then, we are going to... We're going to be wiping out. It's kind of annoying though. Because um, this has two power now. Potentially mill out as well. So I'm not going to block here. Instead, anyways, this survives and then I can block um, this creeping. They can get back one of these if they want. It's not their best. Not drawing lands this game. I have 24 in the deck. Might be wrong to not be playing 25. Maybe go up uh, like Castle Vantress. Annoying there. So I'm not the drone cards. So I do have this. Uh, I can't even cry. Pretty screwed. Lions make these bigger. Yikes. Okay, so they're more in on the elemental plan than our deck was. And unfortunately, at this point, I'm not going to have a great catch-up mechanic. Oh, and this gives this haste. I just want to see what's in the opponent's hand. I want to see how they built theirs. Okay, so they're all in on elementals. Neoform, spark double. Okay. Didn't draw lands that game. Can't really do much without lands. Maybe we do one less. No, let's. That was the first game we really kind of got hampered on lands. So let's play one more. For those of you just tuning in, we we're playing Mythic Ladder, but I want to test the aggro matchup. So we're playing best of one right now just to run into aggro decks. Uh, we're two and one against aggro decks right now. Sounds fine. I want to see how. So I'm building the main board of this version of the deck to be more creature focused, and then the sideboard bring in the tools for the control matchup. I don't think going kind of like half half. Is really where you want to be. I wonder if this is Team or Wreck. No, Tranquil Cove. It's 
Might be budget deck. If it's budget, then I might just concede the game. Oh, no. It's flyers. Um, this is the best one in the long game. Want removal now. So the nice thing too is by taking this, they can only play out one creature. They also can't flash in. I'm gonna try to find a Croxa here and just close this game out. This could also distract them a bit, let them attack into here. I'm gonna go Atris next turn, and then I'm gonna just uh, swamp away from Nico Bolas. I think if we do add another land, I'm gonna add one uh, probably Demir Temple. Okay, so they didn't go after Thing. These aren't great in this matchup. I guess we can try to clip winged words. Uh, do I want the land? I think we just take two here. Where is our Croxa? We milled one of our Shark Typhoons, which isn't the best. Five here. So I think what we do is this. Ooh, opponents on blanks. Keep Croxa there. Probably should have checked if we milled the uh, the swamp. Probably gonna have to kill Loyal Pegasus here, just because it represents the most damage. Next turn I go Croc. Now I probably just play Bolus. Bolus kill one of the. Ooh, that's good. That is good. We lose our guy, but it doesn't matter. Start killing the opponent now. I'm just gonna fuel Croxa here. Let's me set up my next draw. Let's just do this. cards. Hushbringer is actually pretty good for us because if we if we draw our own no weakness, I cannot Bolus then we can um, just cast it. Or if we draw a Croxa it doesn't get uh, the escape trigger so we can get it to resolve. Should be the game. Welcome to my 
I do. Max out the Hushbringer. We're basically to the races, even if they drop a, a bigger thing. Uh, Bolas can copy. Okay, so Flyers is usually a little bit of a disruptive deck, not tier 1 aggro, but they can steal games with uh, Winged Words. So really we only lost to Elementals. And we kind of got mana screwed that game, but otherwise it's been pretty sweet this deck. I do like it. I think what we may want to do in the sideboard instead of a tyrant scorn I think we just cut these and then do another cry of the canarium and another extinction event and then run it like that There is merit, like, do we want, in s instead of commence, so the, the choice here is commence or six mana Chandra. Commence lets us play this at the end of their turn. Yeah, Genesis Ultimatum's generating too much value. Um, that, like, you get five creatures. They hit three Cavalier of Thorns off their Genesis Ultimatum. We had Extinction Event, but it still, it sets you so far ahead. Um, I think this is kind of the flex slot, so you can either go Chandra here or Commence. I think the instant speed would be more relevant in the matchups where you want to hold stuff up. Narset's Reversal, something to try out versus Teamer Wreck, but I like the shell a lot. I'm going to be playing some more of this offline. I'll, uh, I'll report in if it's had a good run in the Mythic Ladder. I just don't want to spend like 45 minutes on a video just playing against like Team Wreck. Rec. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap this one up. I, like I said, I am working on a bunch of M21 lists. So if you do have any suggestions, do drop a comment on uh, uh, YouTube, uh, any type of build, stuff like that. And I'll try to put something together. Uh, we'll be streaming in the early streamer event on the 24th. Uh, so if you can, stop by. Uh, otherwise, have a great one. Stay safe out there and catch you next time. Thanks, Quantum. Glad it's 1080. All right, have a good one, everyone. Bye.